into your singles reading for July 2021. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, y'all, if you haven't watched one of my singles readings before, they are the shortest readings that I do. What I do is pull two separate energies, two different people you could be dealing with this month in love. If one or both looks like a viable option, then I will also pull an outcome for you guys. All right, if you are looking for a longer reading, the monthlies are the longer ones, the weeklies and the singles are the shorter ones. They are all already posted, so check those out as well. All right, first person, Leo. <clears throat> the Fool, Aries Energy, the Six of Coins, Taurus, and the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So this person is super sweet. Super sweet, probably younger than you or someone that's like in their 20s. All right, so they are ready to really just jump right in with you because the type of person they are, you know how when somebody hasn't been through anything shitty in love yet, so they're still looking at the world like really nice and sweet and romantic and flirty. That's the kind of person that they are. I think it's super sweet. <laughs> Um, so they're not looking at you or a connection with you as anything that they should really think about. They just want to do it. You know, with the six of coins here, they might feel like they want to give to you. They might like give you gifts. Um, either way, you guys, your connection is going to be really balanced. If you, you know, if you choose to deal with them, um, super sweet, super cute. Let's get you an outcome for this person. They might like, you know, bring you flowers, buy you chocolate, whatever. You know what I mean? It's that kind of sweet, sweet, flirty energy. <laughs> like every day is Valentine's Day. That's what it's like. King of Swords. So I, I think that you are going to be um, not in the same place as them. So they are... Like I said, they're not looking at it like anything could go wrong. They're just looking at it like, all is well. This is what I want to do. Let's do this right now, you know? Um, and I think you're going to be, like, really logical about this situation. Like I said, they might be younger than you. So you're going to try to be, like, the grown-up and be like, all right, we need to... We need to chill. We need to be rational. You know what I mean? Not that you're not going to deal with them. I just think that you're going to be more... They're going to be more in their feelings and you're going to be more in your head. Yeah, no? All right, Leo, let's get you another person. Three of coins. Queen of cups. Temperance. Okay. This one might be a coworker or somebody that you meet through your job or some kind of business. You might have to work together for some reason. Um, either way, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Three of Coins, Capricorn, Sagittarius with Temperance here. So this person is grown. Um, this person's like younger, cute, whatever. This person's grown, like their emotions are very grown up, emotionally mature, available. They have actually been through things in their life, so they've learned to you know, temper themselves. They've learned to balance themselves out. They are coming at you really grown up and you guys, you would make a good team basically. Hmm. And they're patient. Like this person's ready to jump right in. This person's more like, take your time. Let's build on this, you know, and see what happens. Let's get you an outcome should you choose to deal with them. The Four of Cups, Cancer Energy. Hmm. Well, I mean, I don't know that either one of you is going to really take any real action. You're just going to kind of sit on it for a while. But it's okay because they have temperance, so they are a patient person. If you need to, like, sit on it and see how it plays out, I think they're going to be totally cool with that. Okay? All right, Leo, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Take care.